The PSC01 PowerFlash security interface module is different from most other X10 modules in that it sends X10 commands rather than receiving them. It sends an X10 signal in response to a make or break contact from a security panel, driveway sensor, doorbell, magnetic door, window switch, you name it. If it's got an output, it can probably trigger the power flash. Triggered by a dry contact closure or a low voltage input, applications for this versatile interface are limited only by your imagination. To begin, determine if the device you are connecting to the PSC01 sends a low voltage signal, 6 to 18 volts, AC, DC or audio, or uses a dry contact closure. For this example, we have some speaker wire to mimic a dry contact closure. Two X10 LM465 dimmable lamp modules set to B1 and B2 with a small lamp plugged into each, an AM466 appliance module set to B1, and an X10 SH10A power horn siren also set to house code B. Use a small screwdriver to set the house code dial on the power flash module to the house code of the X10 modules you want to control. Set the input slider to input A for low voltage devices such as the bell voltage from a security alarm panel, or input B for dry contact closures such as a doorbell or contact switch. Next, choose the appropriate operating mode for how you'd like your X10 modules to respond, which we will demonstrate shortly. Set the desired unit code on the power flash if you have chosen mode 1 or 3. Wire any length of low voltage wiring is needed to connect your device to the power flash module. Be sure to observe polarity with any DC power output. Plug the interface into any standard 120 volt outlet. Test the desired mode of operation by pressing the test button and the all units off button to turn off lights activated by mode 1 or 2. With the power flash module set to mode 1, the PSC01 senses a contact closure, or that voltage is present if set to input A and sends an X10 all lights on as well as an X10 on only command. Upon sensing the contacts have reopened or that voltage is no longer present, the power flash sends an X10 off only command. Use mode 1 to turn on all dimmable lamp modules set to the same house code as well as any non-dimmable appliance modules set to the same house code and unit code as the power flash module when your device's contacts are engaged. Once disengaged, the appliance module will turn off and the lights stay on to notify you the event has occurred. Engaging contacts in mode 2, the power flash will send an X10 all lights on, all units off, or flashing command continuously while the contacts are engaged and a single X10 all lights on when disengaged. Use mode 2 to flash all dimmable lights and sound X10 sirens set to the same house code as the PSC01. Once disengaged, flashing stops, the lights will remain on, and the siren will stop after a few seconds. Mode 3 sends an X10 on when engaged and an X10 off when disengaged to any module set to the same address as the power flash module. Use this mode for simple on-off commands of any X10 module set to the same house and unit code as the PSC01.